I'm uh, uh, Diane Feingold, Scientific Director of uh, the Canadian Institutes of Health Research, Institute of Nutrition, Metabolism, and Diabetes. And CIHR is uh, uh, the Government of Canada's health research funding agency, and we have 13 institutes, and I'm the director of one of them. So this will be a little bit different. It's not about a project, but some ideas that I really want to try to get across. We've been talking at this meeting about needing some common messaging and uh, maybe a framework for thinking about these ideas. So I, I just wanted to throw out a few ideas uh, that may be helpful to a variety of people in the audience. So uh, Stieg said just yesterday in a session about cr this problem is not rocket science. Uh, it's easier than that. But I would actually argue it's more complex than rocket science because there's so many different facets of it. And what, what I really want to get across is I think we have to embrace the complexity of the problem and recognize that there are solutions to complex problems uh, in order to uh, get through uh, the morass that we deal with. So some of the common responses to complex problems are things like uh, believing the problems beyond hope, retreat, despair. And if you're an individual dealing with, um, you know, trying to live a healthy lifestyle, you probably go through these uh, many times. I know I have over the course of uh, the last six or seven years of uh, reducing my body weight from uh, 250 pounds. But I think as a society, we really are getting to a place where we're galvan galvanizing our collective efforts, and I think that's part of what Ox is doing, uh, and investing significant resources to address the problem. So there are some things that we can learn from complex systems science as we try to deal with a complex problem. And the two that I think are really most important is that individuals matter, and that the complexity of the problem has to match the capacity of the individual to deal with the problem. Okay, so now that's a, you have to think a little bit about what that means, but if you're an individual dealing with the uh, environment, the obesogenic environment, it's really quite hard to change behavior in an, in an environment where uh, there's, there's all kinds of things that affect your food and physical activity behavior. But I think this applies also to all of us in this room who work in different aspects of this problem. So let me just remind you that there are people at all kinds of levels. This is from the IOTF website. And it's just to illustrate the point that the problem is complex when we think about all the different actors who have a role to play in changing and in helping us prevent uh, chronic disease. And some of you represent some of these boxes, right? You come from different sectors. And I think you have to think about what you can do to change the environment. And this is where individuals matter. It's not just the individual on the right hand of the slide that is dealing with their food and physical activity, behavior and environment, but it's all of the people who are in all of the sectors that play a role, be it transportation, be it the food food industry, be it agriculture, uh, be it trade and, and, and government and things like that. So individuals matter at all levels of the system. You've got to match the capacity of the individual and all individuals to the complexity of their tasks. So, well, one thing we can do is increase capacity, and we've been doing that a lot for over the years, trying to educate people to make them more capable. I'm not sure we're giving them the right message because we often give them the simple solution message to the complex problem, and we know simple solutions rarely fix complex problems. We can also decrease the complexity of their problem, and I remember at last year's meeting, the Design Council presented these brilliant, this brilliant idea of a deck of cards that helps individuals understand all the various aspects of their, uh, their situation around diabetes control and helps them see the complexity of it. I'm almost done. Uh, and I think making, this is around uh, healthy choice, the easy choice, and building trust is another area. Uh, but there are other things that complex problems, uh, solutions to complex problems, like setting goals and directions for improvement, uh, distributing decision action and authority, et cetera, measuring effectiveness in the field. And I would make the suggestion that OXA has to think about this kind of messaging. And, and in the things that it's doing, are, is it doing one, of, one or more of these things that are solving complex problems? So is the website really addressing any of these? I'm not sure it is yet, but there are other things it can do. Thank you.